Hello, my name is Pooja Agarwal and I'm an assistant professor at Rush University Medical Center. Today I'm here to talk about diet and brain health. We'll go over why diet is important, what all do we know with existing literature on diet, nutrition, and brain health, and what are different dietary patterns which are known to reduce the dementia risk. So why diet is important? Reducing dementia risk is one of the action areas in WHO Action Plan for Dementia. And lifestyle factors are one of the important components to reduce dementia risk. So one of the items for the action area is diet. And having a balanced and a healthy diet is an important component for WHO Action Plan for Dementia. So why diet is important? Because it provides the essential nutrients required for humans, and it also helps to maintain your weight. Diet is important for vascular health, and then also for the immune responses because it prevents certain diseases and illnesses. There are different nutrients and foods which are important for brain health. And primarily, some of them have been looked at extensively and recommended for brain health, including vitamin E, which is also dietary tocopherols, omega-3, DHA, and EPA, B vitamins, carotenoids, flavonoids, which are the bioactive, and also vitamin D. And then there are certain foods which are very rich in these nutrients, such as nuts and oils and different fruits and vegetables. Uh, berries and uh, omega-3 is very much present in fish and dairy. And then there are certain nutrients which one should avoid, such as saturated fat, trans fats, and sugars, which are very much present in commercial products, processed foods, baked goods, red meat or processed meats, and sugared beverages, pastries, and sweets. So now we'll look at what we know for specific nutrients. So looking at vitamin E intake and cognitive decline, we have results from Chicago Health and Aging Project, which is a longitudinal cohort study, which was an observational study looking at people's diet and then following them over a number of years to assess their cognition. And it was found that people who were consuming less vitamin E, that's indicated in the pink line, were declining faster when compared to those who were consuming more vitamin E through the foods. Then there are different studies on B vitamins, and we know from the meta-analyses that there is an association of vitamin B with slower cognitive decline. Then looking at carotenoids, we have uh, known so far that carotenoids overall, the total carotenoids and its subgroups, are also associated with reduced risk of Alzheimer's dementia. And here you see the results from Rush Memory and Aging Project. And what we found was total carotenoid intake was uh, associated with almost 50% reduced risk of Alzheimer's dementia. And we also looked at other bioactives, so bioactives such as flavonoids, and there are different subclasses of these bioactives, which are very much present in plant-based foods and different fruits and vegetables and tea, etc. And specifically looking at flavonols, uh, we found that higher intake of flavonol was associated with reduced Alzheimer's dementia risk, as you can see in the figure here. And similarly, for the pelargonidin and thocyanidin, which was also found to be associated with reduced Alzheimer's dementia risk. The other trend which we looked at recently was sugar intake, and we found that people consuming more sugar, as you can see in this graph indicated in the red dashed line, had higher risk of Alzheimer's dementia when compared to those who were consuming less sugar in the food, as indicated in the blue line. Now, moving from sugar to fat, so overall fat can be a good fat or a bad fat. So omega-3 comes under a good fat, and saturated fat and trans fats are the bad fats. Overall fat is important. Why? Because 50 to 60% of our brain consists of fat or lipid. And the specific fats, such as omega-3, uh, the dihydroxyarachidonic acid, is important for cerebral cortex, overall synaptosome, and it has specific functions such as uh, maintaining the 
neuronal health and the membrane fluidity. And what we have known from animal studies is that animals given a high saturated fat or cholesterol diet had the memory deficits and also had plaque deposition in their brain. Overall, diet high in fat is also associated with high cholesterol levels. So most nutrients I just talked about are always present in combination in certain foods. And specifically, if we talk about vitamin E, vitamin C, carotenoids, flavonoids, and omega-3, they all have antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties, which are important for brain health. Now, looking uh, at food groups was another thing which has been done in the field. And it was found that overall vegetable intake was associated with the slower cognitive decline. As you can see in this graph, people consuming less vegetables are indicated through the black line. And they were found to be declining faster than those who were consuming more vegetables as indicated in the pink or the purple line. And similarly, specifically looking at green leafy vegetables, it was found that those who were consuming more green leafy vegetables as indicated by the blue line were declining slower. So not eating green leafy vegetables as indicated by the red line was associated with faster cognitive decline over time. We similarly looked at berry intake and its association with dementia risk and found that overall strawberry intake of more than once per week was associated with almost 24% reduced risk of Alzheimer's dementia. So what we know about fish intake and Alzheimer's dementia is from different cohort studies. And one of the pooled analysis from five cohort found that fish intake of one to four servings per week is associated with slower cognitive decline. Now moving on to diet scores. We have different dietary patterns which have been assessed for its role in dementia risk. And I'll be primarily talking about three dietary patterns, the Mediterranean diet, the DASH diet, and the MIND diet. So what is the Mediterranean diet? It's the diet which is originated from the Mediterranean region and primarily consists of plant-based foods focusing on whole grains, vegetables, legumes, fruits, nuts, seeds, herbs, and spices. Olive oil is an important component. Fish and seafood are emphasized in this pattern. And red meat and sweets are supposed to be limited. The meta-analysis has shown that Mediterranean diet overall is associated with the reduced risk of Alzheimer's dementia and also with reduced cognitive impairment. So now looking at the results from the randomized controlled trial for the Mediterranean diet from the PREDIMET trial, where it was found that people consuming Mediterranean diet with extra virgin olive oil or nuts improve cognition when compared to the control low-fat diet as indicated in the figure. The next dietary pattern I'm talking about is the DASH diet, which is dietary approach to stop hypertension. And as the name indicates, it's the dietary approach to control your blood pressure. The DASH diet has also been found to be associated with slower cognitive decline in older adults. And specifically, this diet is again a plant-based diet, emphasize uh, lots on whole grains, green leafies, and the fruits and the vegetables overall, low-fat dairy, as well as low-sodium intake. Now coming on to the MIND diet. So MIND diet is something which was created at Rush University by Dr. Martha Claire Morris and her colleagues using the, the data from Rush Memory and Aging Project. And they found that people consuming more MIND diet were declining slower over time. MIND diet specifically include foods which have shown enough scientific evidence or compelling evidence for its role in brain health. 10 healthy food items include a whole grain, green leafy vegetables, berries, nuts, poultry, bean and legumes, fish, and olive oil. And then the foods to be limited includes butter, margarine, full-fat cheese, fried food, processed meats, and pastries and sweets. So what has been found, again, using this Rush Memory and Aging Project data, which is a longitudinal cohort study where people are followed for more than 10 years, was that people consuming moderate or a higher mind diet score had almost 35 to 50% reduced risk of Alzheimer's dementia. 
And overall, when uh, we also looked at Mediterranean and the DASH diet, only people adhering to the higher scores had the benefit on dementia risk. So we further wanted to look at if the MIND diet is also associated with Alzheimer's disease pathology in the brain. In Rush Memory and Aging Project, we have participants who are also consenting to donate their brain at the time of death. And what we did in this study is we wanted to find an association of diet with Alzheimer's disease pathology in the brain. As indicated in the graph, we found that higher mind diet was associated with less Alzheimer's disease pathology. And overall, we found that with improvement in people's diet, even in one area, for example, eating more than six servings of greens in a week or having one or more fish intake in a week or not eating fried food or limiting your sugar intake every week was associated with fewer amyloid plaques in the brain and which was equivalent to almost being four years younger. I'll briefly talk about the MIND trial result, which is the randomized controlled trial to test the effectiveness of MIND diet. And it was done among older adults, 65 to 84 years old, at two sites, uh, Chicago and Boston. And participants were randomized into two groups. One group was given the recommended MIND diet, and then the other group was a controlled diet given a mild calorie restriction diet. What we found in this trial was that both the mind diet group and the mind calorie restriction diet show improvement in cognitive abilities at year three. A healthy diet does not only help your brain, but it's also helpful in maintaining your heart health. It's been well known that healthy diets such as Mediterranean and the MIND diet helps to maintain your weight, the cardiovascular health, it helps your motor activity, and it's shown to help the risk of depressive symptoms, Parkinsonian signs, and also disability in older adults. To summarize, there are different nutrients important for brain health, including antioxidant nutrients such as vitamin E, carotenoids, flavonoids, B vitamins, omega-3 fatty acids, which are, are associated with slower cognitive decline and reduce Alzheimer's dementia risk. Overall, there are healthy dietary patterns such as MIND and Mediterranean diet, which are also known to slow cognitive decline and reduce dementia risk in older adults. Thank you so much for listening. And remember, what's good for your brain is also good for your overall well-being.